Hi, my name is James, and this is my story about my health scare. Back in August, it was just a normal day. We were getting ready to start uh, the beginning of the school year. And for us, this was the first time our kids, age nine, age seven, fourth grader and second grader, would be, would be back at school uh, on campus in over a year and a half. The year prior, due to COVID, we decided to homeschool. So on this day in August, August 16th, my wife and I, we do what we normally do on the first day of school. After we drop off the kids, give them their hugs, their kisses, and send them off, we go and have breakfast. A date, one of the very few dates that we get. And as we were sitting down, having our breakfast, I remember very, very distinctly I was having uh, waffles and she was having sweetest pancakes, bacon, eggs, the works. She took a picture as she always does just to uh, have a photo of the moment. And she, as she took the picture, she looked at it and she looked at me and she said, you're losing weight. And me very nonchalantly and the photographer, the photographer that I am, I asked her to see the picture. She gave me her phone. I looked at it and I said, oh, it's just the angle that you took it at and left it at that. That was August. And for me, up until that point, I had been working from home uh, for the last year and a half. And if you're like, and you know, if you're like me, probably just the tops and um, having some sweatpants of that nature. Very rarely did I have to get dressed up to go to work drop the kids off, go to church. All those things were just not something that we were doing from our day to day. So if I was losing weight, it would have been really hard for me to really tell um, based off of my waistline and my clothes fitting. So fast forward just a little bit. And as I'm having meetings on Zoom, you know, I get comments. Uh, and I remember one comment that I got from a coworker. Man, are you on a diet? Look like you're losing weight. And had it been a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I may have received that comment a little bit more better than I had. But unfortunately, it was in front of a whole lot of people. I said, ah, you know how the kids are. Got me ripping and running. May have lost a couple pounds. Again, just brushing it off, not thinking much about it. But all the while, you know, it just bothered me. First my wife, now a coworker. And then something really, really was bothering me and, and I really couldn't get a, a good understanding of it was I just was tired. Uh, I had no energy. Uh, I just wanted to sleep at home, take naps. And for me, everything was associated or everything was pinned on this time of COVID that we'd be in. I wasn't as active. I wasn't out and about as much as I used to be. And I just said, hey, it just must be the season that I am because of COVID. Just tired. And I really didn't beat myself up. I gave myself grace. But then I just kept getting these questions asked. You look like you're losing weight. And then something happened. And something happened that I had to address. I started to cough. I couldn't talk for long periods of time without coughing. And I'm like, is it a cold? Is it my allergies? The weather's changing. You know, each and every time something would happen, I would have a, an explanation. And, and, and later on, it was just more of an excuse. I'd come to find not wanting to address something that may have been there. So I did go to the doctor. I did tell my doctor, hey, man, I've got this cough. You know, I know I've got allergies. And... He pretty much told me, um, hey, come on in. We'll take some tests. Uh, you look good. Uh, do some blood work, um, and I'll get you, you know, some Flonase, things of that nature to help you out with your allergies and some of the congestion. He gave me this rinse to help with my nasal passage just to hopefully see that clear up. So I followed the doc and followed his orders. And in the meantime, I would have to go uh, to a funeral. Um, unfortunately, a, a member of the family passed away. And as we were at this uh, 
kind of celebration of life, supporting family, just being there for one another. Uh, a family member came to me who I hadn't seen in a while and said, James, you're losing so much weight. And again, someone else said that. And it really hit me that something could be wrong. It hasn't been the allergies. I just can't shake this. <clears throat> the cough is getting a little bit worse. It just keeps lingering. And then I get a call from my doctor as I'm going through the testing and all of the results and all of that type of stuff. And this is a little while later, and I'm at work, at homework, and um, I can't get the call. So I missed the call. I wait to see the voicemail if that would something would come through. Sure enough, he leaves a voicemail and he says, "Hey, um, call the office and um, you know set up an appointment and you know we'll go over the results, so on and so forth." And immediately my heart sunk. You know, if we just wanted to go over the results, we could have done that over the phone. So now I'm in my head. What's wrong? What's going on? I have no idea. I have no clue. But I know I have lots of concern at this point time so I set up the doctor's appointment and um, I was waiting and it was about a week or two out this doctor's appointment and I was just like anxious I just needed to go and I'm like ah, I want to do this and then I looked at the calendar and I said oh I can't wait any longer because I have a meeting on that day um, so I called the doctor and uh, we were able to schedule something a lot sooner um, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to see my doctor I would have to see uh, one of his colleagues, um, one of his partners in the office, which was fine with me. Uh, but as the doctor was looking at the results and going over things, I knew, you know, this wasn't something that um, wasn't good. And I think my initial uh, going into the office, as they always do, they take your blood pressure, and then they, um, you know, weigh you and things like that. And I hadn't been on a scale in over two years. Again, normal routines have been out of whack due to the circumstances of the pandemic. And when I stepped on the scale and I looked, you know, at the weight, I noticed I had lost nearly 10 pounds, if not a little bit more. And at that point, my mind began to race. And the first thing it came to was, am I going to die? I would then go into the office and wait for the doctor, and then we would get down to what was going on, what possibly could be the problems. And the first thing they asked me to do was to go take some more blood work, get a chest x-ray. And um, again, totally depleted, totally in a place of not knowing, total shock and total, total fear. I left... I went and got the blood work taken, and um, after the blood work was taken, I was supposed to go down the hall and get the x-ray, but I totally forgot. <clears throat> I got in the car and got all the way home before I realized I needed to go back and get this x-ray taken. And I only had taken a couple hours. I was planning on going to work, but at this point, um, I texted my boss and let my boss know. <clears throat> that I wouldn't be coming in today. I would need to go and take some more tests, so on and so forth. So I turned around, and that's what I did. Went and got the x-ray, and um, they submitted all of that stuff to my doctors so they could review. Um, x-ray came back clear. That was one of the first results uh, that I got back uh, really quickly. Um, the blood work took a little bit longer uh, to go through the testing and things of that nature. And, um, you know, once I got those back, um, I was asked to see a specialist um, and uh, talk about some different things. So I made that appointment with the specialist and um, had that appointment right around the time the blood work had come back. So we reviewed all of those things. And uh, basically what comes to find out is uh, I have a thyroid issue um, and my thyroid is uh, overactive, causing my metabolism to speed up. Hence, uh, not being able to keep on any weight because I had been eating, uh, but 
just haven't been able to keep on the weight. And as I'm talking to the doctors and, you know, there's certain things that are just unbeknownst, you know, even with the science as to the cause of, you know, certain situations. Some of it is hereditary, things of that nature, but really can't pinpoint why, how, um, or what contributed to uh, my thyroid being overactive. Um, But gave me uh, some positive feedback, some reassurance that, you know, with the proper medication, you know, getting a little bit more active, proper diet, you know, we could address this in a couple of different ways. Um, so it gave me some hope. And uh, that fear that I was facing, um, it slowly began to subside because a lot of it was the fear of the unknown. But now uh, the athlete in me, the competitor in me, um, what do I got to do, Doc? was what I asked. And that's where I'm at today, you know, with a better understanding of uh, my situation, a better understanding of what I need to do to make sure uh, I get healthy, um, and a better understanding of what I need to do in the future um, as far as listening to my body, listening to the people that are close to me that are giving me feedback uh, about certain things that they've seen and following up on that sooner than later. Um, I, you know, I believe in the Lord. His timing is perfect. Um, and it's really hard for me not to think, hey, what if I had addressed this when my wife said something back in, in August? Uh, what if I had done something when the coworker said something to me uh, in October? Um, there's a whole lot of what ifs. And I choose not to live in the what ifs. I choose to live in the right now and knowing what I need to do, what I need to accomplish. And that's the reason why I'm coming to you with this video. It's just listen to your body. Listen to the folks that are near and dear to your heart. And if you don't feel that things are where they are, you know you better than anyone else, give your doctor a call. Make sure you follow up with them to get the care that you need in a timely manner. The more time that passes, potentially the more harm that can be done to your body. So take it from me. James, your boy, you know, uh, take care of yourself. Uh, You only got one go at it, and you don't want to be like I was, having some regrets of I would have, could have, and should have. Be well, guys. Take care. Thanks.